Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. In these uh, kind of small sequence of, uh, of, of tutorials I'm doing right now, I'm talking about the toolbar right here on the screen and what these specific tools do. And at this point, we are on the slip and slide edits down here on the toolbar. Right now, I've got my arrow selected. If I move down and click on this, and notice you got the little teeny arrow in the bottom right-hand corner, which means this menu expands. So if I click on this and hover over, if I click on this and hold down my mouse, it'll expand and show and reveal the slip tool, which it's already on, and the slide tool. Uh, so these are not commonly used as much as the roll and ripple edits uh, that you find up here in this area here as the roll and ripple edits. The roll and ripple edits are the most commonly used, but the slip and slide uh, tool occasionally come in handy as well. Uh, now this gets a little confusing, but basically what these do, and we've got these shortcuts if you hover over it, uh, the slip tool is Y and the uh, and the slide tool is U, and these keys are located next to each other on the keyboard, so they're uh, kind of easy to access. So if we hit Y and U, it toggles between the slip and slide tool. So the first one, uh, Y, is the slip tool. What that basically does, I'm going to go over to this clip here and we're going to zoom in a little bit there on our timeline. So I hit plus plus on my keyboard to kind of zoom up a little closer to that. As I have this slip tool here, uh, I move this over this clip and grab and I start scrubbing left and right. What you'll notice here uh, in this top screen is on the left hand, uh, top left hand side, we've got the out point of the clip of the previous clip uh, of this clip right here. That's the out point of this clip right here. Uh, as I grab this and start dragging, it then now also has this clip that I'm grabbing. It's grabbing its in point and out point. And as I slide that back and forth, essentially what that is doing is changing simultaneously this clip's in and out point. If I drag it to the right, it's extending the in point while shrinking the out point. If I drag it to the left, it's doing the, the opposite. And then the top right-hand corner is uh, the in point of the next clip. So this can be sometimes used to, to, to change the edit. So basically it is affecting this clip's in and out points without affecting the adjacent clip's out point or this adjacent clip's in point. So as I grab this and slide it back and forth, it's just changing the clips. It's simultaneously affecting the clips in point, in point and out point. And as I mentioned, this isn't used very much. It's not used as often as the ripple and roll. Uh, but if you just need to offset the clips in point, you can even see my, uh, my audio waveform here as I drag it to the right just a few frames. You notice that shifts over. So that basically shifted this clip while keeping its timing in the timeline. It's changing it in, in and out points while keeping the timing exactly the same in the uh, timeline. So let's go to the slide tool. U, U uh, selects the, the slide tool. And what that basically does is, uh, so you think a slip, it is basically slipping the in and out points behind these edits on the timeline. Now slide tool, that's actually physically moving the clip up and down the timeline. So you can think of it as sliding up and down the timeline. But what it's going to do is affect, this is the opposite. It's going to affect, keep this one, the in and out points on this clip the same while adjusting this clip's in point, while adjusting this clip's out point and this clip's in point uh, to compensate. So if I grab this and drag it to the left and say, I want it to happen there, it just stretched out this clip's in point and decreased this clip's out point while keeping this clip, uh, keep maintaining this in and out point on this clip here. So these can be used for timing purposes. Just uh, I use these on occasion when I just need to like move the timing a little bit. So like I said, these ones aren't used as much. Occasionally, you'll, 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 you might find an occasion where you need to, ch uh, to just slightly offset these a little bit. Uh, but that's basically what the slip and slide tool do. Well, thanks for watching. In the next episode, we'll be covering the next item, which is the pen tool.